Enable voice authentication. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140, Great. Thanks, Sam. That's good. Sam, are you there? Respond. I am here. Oh, God. Thank God. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Sam... You seem to have booted up in Module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in Module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in Module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on Module 9? Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Are the adjacent contact points from 9 intact? Module 9 hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good. We're still connected. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the hull contact points on the other modules? Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false, suggesting that Module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in Module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to 9. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! Controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Sam, you still there? What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? Sam, what is that? Sam, a response! What the hell is going on?
self-diagnostic procedure. And what errors are you showing? Relocation functions are offline. I require auto-routing to access module cameras. Okay, I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. Connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in central. Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from Module 9. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in Module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. Reinstalling the system link interface. Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. Good, good. Looks like that's working. Add another. Use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. That's it. It's open. I'm out. Good work, Sam. Okay. Let's get this up and running. Josh? 
I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. Josh, if you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? Oh, shit. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. You can now relocate to any module and view its camera feeds. In the EAS arm, at least. Try it now. Find that fire, Sam. There is a fire out of control in EAS-4. Shit, I'm on my way! Sam, the hatch in EAS-6 is locked down. Can you get it open for me? It's open. I'm on my way. Relocate to EAS-3. I'll need your help when I get there. The EAS full hatch controls to your system links, but wait for my signal. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Are you ready? One. Two. Three. That's it. Come on! Sam! <coughs> Get the vents on in here. Clear these fumes. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's it, it's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Something is coming out of the side. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Or oil. Dark red. And there is maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on! What now? Sam, give me a status report! There is significant stress being applied to EAS-12. Immediate separation recommended. Please, if there is anyone in Module 12, make yourself known now. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. This is getting much worse. <sighs> okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay, first, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. 1442 Two, nine, zero, three, four, one, nine. Got it. Inputting now. Hurry, Sam. Target the jets and push the module away safely. above Houston. Can you detect any damage, Sam? EAS-12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage. It's like a hole has been cut out of it. What would do that? We must have spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. Just isolated sections.
The CN arm is badly damaged. God, May. It looks intact, though. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. I brought you here. It seems. What? Why? I don't know. Today's time is 57 degrees. Today's air is covered with a layer of space. 